All right, guys, it'll be your host, Ann Caster. I Cup fits back here for yet another cast here of some awesome brood war. Without further ado, let's introduce our players here spawning here. As the yellow zerg, it will be Vesco and his ally at the 12. As the blue Terran, it will be none other than uh, SCV Force from Team Bulgaria. Fun fact, very fun fact, did you know that Hit Wallace is also part of the same clan? So we could actually have two potential Bulgarian team, you know, Bulgarian team members win an iCup clan, iCup tour, within the same day of cast. That would be pretty awesome. And for the other team who is switched now from, which was initially... Zerg Protoss is now switched to Zerg Zerg in the bottom left hand corner as the brown Zerg it will be Joy flying in the top right hand corner as the red Zerg it will be none other than Zaro. Uh, Zerg Zerg if you guys don't know is actually considered in balance. Kespa when they did do their 2v2 tour where they did the 2v2 league they actually banned CVZ, like that's how intense they were about it. My goodness, uh, it's just because they can apply so much early pressure, and we're even having what a 12 hatch. We actually have a 12 hatch happening in 2v2. That is how ridiculous. That's how that's how confident they are in going about this. So Terran, though, I've got to think what he can do. Uh, now we do have uh, Brown. Gonna be getting up his links a little bit faster than his opponent, obviously, because we do his opponent, his ally is gonna be going for a 12 hatch of his own, right? This the map is Kiawa, um, which I don't even remember that much. Like I don't, I don't, no, I don't, I, I never see this map. It's a fact. It's, I never see this map. So we'll just kind of see how it plays out. I mean, if there's like a super awesome mechanic that is used, that's awesome. If there isn't, then we won't be disappointed, right? I hope. But I still can't get over the fact that we have actually have a 12 hatch, like a pure on 12 hatch. And is Terran going for the gas deal, apparently? Um, and Terran just kind of want to ugly obliterate. No, he's going to go for a factory, actually. So these lings might actually be able to get into Terran's base, uh, believe it or not. Because that, that Marine? That Marine could die, right? Is that tight? No. Can that actually be tight? That probably is tight, and it probably doesn't look like it, but that is probably a legit wall. But whatever, you know? Like, we don't talk about that. We don't talk about my my inability to, to you know, actually, no, just, I'm gonna shut up now. So, Terran, you know, gonna be going for the mech play instead. Zerg did open up with the 12 hatch, now does have their gas, now can get their second gas. I mean, they could even see, they could be in a position where they want to go three hatch Muta if they're left, if they're able to do that. But we do have Brown coming into Yellow's base right now. Brown is starting to be a little bit overwhelming with this link count, but more links from Yellow are starting to show behind right here. Gunley snipe off a drone right now. Will be able to get a second one? That's the important key. It looks like no, that push ultimately didn't do a whole lot. Did kill off a drone, but you know, sacrificing you know 300 <laughs> 300 minutes worth of links. Not really sure if it's totally worth it. But despite that, yellow going to be going out, and let's see if he's going to do some counter pressure right here. Would probably be a very smart idea. Now red zerg going to be putting up some slings right here, obviously to stop any kind of push that Terran would do. But actually, look at this. Going to be going the two port wraith right here. Interesting choice. Uh, again, not generally something that you see in two v two. Yellow links are coming in here. Four links of brown are trying to stop these links from getting in right here, but uh, no, <laughs> but fail effortlessly to do that. So ultimately, I don't even know the right word for it, but more yellow links are streamlining in right now. This could be bad. No slunks, no nothing. One drone will fall. Brown doesn't have a whole lot of links right now. One drone, two drones, three, four, four drones will die. They're dying so quickly. Joy flying will just ultimately just GG. Zaru is just like, why, dude? I'm sleeping now. This is bullshit. And now, I mean, this was, he was looking good, but ultimately, 
Uh, Zara, why must I always get the slackers? Good job, guys. GG. And Zaru will ultimately not be able to keep his 12 hatch going. And maybe the reason why you don't go a 12 hatch because you can't ally your opponent. That could be the other thing. I don't know. But that's not for me to decide. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, now, I'm going to go figure out what the hell I'm going to do now because I have this to up update. Um, we got some ghosts and replays from the TSL that I'm interested in casting because that's going to be fun. But I need, I need like a 15 minute break before I do that. But anyway, so congratulations to Team Vesco. You guys deserve it. And congratulations to Team Zara for also getting the finals. And that mean that you have to go through a lot of hardship to get that far. Guys, thanks, thanks for watching iCup Starcraft TV. It's been your host and caster iCup Fitz. I'm signing out. Peace.